Hello there, friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors Crafty Vacation Vlog. I will show you the van before I unload it. I did not get a bunch of stuff offloaded. Kind of my van has turned into just like a storage unit for craft stuff. Because I'm like, I'm only bringing coloring. And that's what I brought to work on. But I didn't get the other stuff unpacked. So there's a bunch of like, if I really wanted to make cart stuff, I could, but I'm not bringing it in. No. So Eddie helped me load. Of course, I was like, you always overdo and bring too much. But anyway, I'm on my way. Have a pick me up because I did not sleep well. I had the whole weekend off to get like, get my sleep cycle to match normal people. But um, last night, again, it's like the first day of school. I got so excited. I seriously could not fall asleep. It was like 5.30. I'm like trying to fall asleep because I was up doing laundry. Because again, I had the whole weekend and I waited until the last possible moment to get ready. And packing and organizing and like, oh, but wait, I might need this and I might need this. So I brought a lot. <laughs> Funny thing, I told one of my girlfriends, well, she knew I was going on this crafty thing. And she's like, um, oh, what are you going to craft on? And I told her, coloring. I'm only bring I'm bringing coloring. She's like, just coloring for a whole week? I thought, you don't know me. I said, well, but it's not just, sorry, just coloring. Because she, I'm like, it's not like just crayons and markers. I said, yes, I pack those. But I also have my watercolor paints and I have my acrylic paints and I have a bunch of ink pads to do like backgrounds and my pastels so it's funny when it's like you're just gonna color for a week and people think that's like sounds like the stupidest thing ever it's not so I am intending to give like little blurb updates I want to see how much can Kathy color in a week now, I did bring a lot more detailed work because I'm focusing on Hannah Lynn this month and I have not finished one yet. So I don't expect a huge quantity, not like last month, seriously, that was insane. But that was color by number month. So yeah, I, there's no way I'm gonna hit another 96 page month. But I did bring some color by number. I wanna work on my big Disney books and I'm gonna do some Hannah Lynn's, but the first thing I have to do finish all my buddy colors for the month so I'm pretty sure just about everybody's done with theirs but me there's a couple of people I haven't heard from and I told them when we made the buddy colors that I'm not gonna be able to work on it till the end of the month so anyway I am on the way and if I see any exciting scenery I'll show you this is the great outdoors of <laughs> the land of 10,000 lakes I don't think I'll drive my lakes but it is very pretty and green and 78 degrees. So I will be checking in till we get there. And here we are, my happy place. I just love the drive up, yes, on a gravel road and seeing this haven on the hill. Here's everything that I brought. Uh, miscellaneous. Wet cushions, electronics, coloring books, wagon to haul it all in, chair, because the chairs here stink, uh, supplies, supplies, suitcase, a tote full of supplies, and to show and bear it all, I have fridge, more supplies, more supplies. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in. And some groceries and some soda. So yeah, it's a lot. 
and it looks like two of my friend's cars are here, so I'm not sure if they are here or if they went out to lunch, but let's get in. Okay, I did not check in to show you. Setup's a little different. I'm in front of the door. Oh, I can't turn you around, sorry. So, because we're gonna have more people, we're set up kind of in a spoke, but there are just four of us here right now. And it's time, it's quarter after 10 on Monday. First day's already over. We did our standard pizza, got Godfather's pizza. I got the Reuben, which is my favorite. And now it's time for bed. I need to take a shower. Everybody else already went downstairs. But let me show you. I actually did get something done today. First, I'll show you my little corner. I got my wagon full of supplies. And this is the tote full of supplies. Look, I have half a table empty. And everything's within reach. My coloring books. I've got my marker sets. My paints. Music. Down here, we got snacks. Soda. Um, the leftovers. Put rest. Okay, so this is not done, but I'm hoping while I'm here to film a video. But the coloring part is done, and I need to add all the stickles and glitz, which I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, doing a video on how I stickle, which will be, I'm going to show on this page, and there's one other page in my Hannah Lynn book. Same with this. This is actually a whip. I already had the coloring done. And now I want to do the stickle part. So that's that. I finished that. And then this one I did start to finish since I've been here. And that was the palette I used. And right now, perfect timing. I put on my glossy accents. And I'll let that dry overnight. So yeah, look at me. <laughs> That's all I got done in the first day. And I brought all those books. But I actually want to finish this book while I'm here. So I could have probably just brought this book. But anyway, that's how much I got done. And here's my room. And I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning from my happy place. It's beautiful, <sighs> except I can't breathe, but that's just asthma. Anyway, shower went well, as if you really wanted to know that. Got some good sleep, and now I'm just making sure there's no snakes out here, because this is the little snake corner in the spring. And I see one sheep. Super sad news, the llama died. So I guess I won't see the llama. Anyway, let's go get started coloring. I am ready to start the day. Coffee, meds, soda, water, breakfast. This is what I'm gonna color in. It is 9.15 a.m. I have two pages to do. I gotta find them. Both are buddy colors, and that one. But first, checking in, it is 12.42. I should have gotten more done, but I had to eat breakfast, so I got my mouse done. And can you see, I glued on little blings. And I added some sparkle. I used this color palette. That's why it looks a little different. And then I did the other page too. I have to be careful because that's not dry. And I did this and I added some rub-ons. So two buddy colors done. And I think it's time for some lunch before I get the next book out. Okay, I have not been good about vlogging today. It is now 10.54. And my other friends went to bed. Look how nice and neat their desks are over there. And then here's my friend Kim. And actually me for being the coloring girl 
and pretty messy, and even my friend over there. So tomorrow, the rest of the tables are going to fill in, which is fun. So let me show you what I colored today. I colored one, two, three, four, five. Six, six pages in like a full day, not the best. So I just finished this one, well almost. I have one more thing to do, but I just put a bunch of stickles on. So that needs to dry. And then, yeah, this is what I'm gonna film tomorrow, hopefully, about my whole how I store and use stickles and liquid pearls and enamel accents, yes. That's a giant collection. So over here, this one I was just letting dry really good. So look at this one I finished. This is kind of a sneak peek of my finished pages, depending on when this gets put up, but yeah, it needs a little bit more drying time. I think I show you guys, I did the two in matchstick mouse and that one. And then I did two in my vacation miniatures. I did this one. These are all buddy colors, by the way. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get done first. And then this one, can you see all that sparkle? Oh yeah, so this guy's got to dry. Stickles dries relatively quickly compared to other things. It's the enamel accents. Yeah, liquid pearls. So that's what I got done today. This is our room. Pretty cool. And it's dark outside. And yeah, I'm tucked all the way <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I'm right by the escape door, which we did see a kitty, so that's exciting. And yeah, that's my full table of coloring. <laughs> but I'm going to bed now. End of the first full day. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Well, I should have practiced that dramatic. <laughs> I was going to open the curtains in like, you know, a professional filming thing. It is Wednesday. It's overcast. It's still beautiful and lovely. This is the view outside my room today. Or this vacation. It's the same as the other crafty <laughs> vlogs. I think I am calling while it says I'm in Hillside room four, I think. I'm going to call this the Laura Ingalls Wilder room because of the beautiful blanket all about Laura. And over here, I have a little, little wagon and a little Laura. A little crock for Walnut Grove. Anyway, I'm in a different room this time. Like I said, I'm being Goldilocks, trying them all. And have my normal favorite blanket that was a gift from a crafty friend. Comes with me everywhere. Other than that, it's time to get up and go and see what's happening because there's more friends coming today. Four of them. Checking in, it is 10.28. And I just finished, well, I still have to do one little bit of this fun page using my friend Zoe's a groovy color palette, addicted to coloring. And I'm going to finish this and then I got to clear off my desk because I'm going to do a um, video. I'm going to do a, not really a tutorial, but I'll show you once I have it all set up. Now the sun's come out a little bit, and yeah, it's exciting. So, we'll see how much further I get. Checking in because I'm currently doing a video. It's paused, but I am doing the How I Stickle video, which I don't know what order things are going to get put up, but right now I'm playing and demonstrating the Stickles Gel. So, not a lot of coloring done yet this morning, but now I'm getting a video done before all my friends come back. One friend is here, <laughs> but she's being quiet, so I can film. Like seven o'clock, sorry, haven't been checking in. More people are getting here, 
So it's a little harder to talk on my phone. But it's just so beautiful. This is my favorite time of night. So the sun's setting behind me. So I'm facing the east. But it's so pretty. The birds are out like eating mosquitoes like crazy. You can see the sheep are grazing. This is just so, so peaceful. I love it here. The barn. Anyway. It's so gorgeous. And I'm sitting right inside over there. But still coloring. I'll give you a wrap up at the end of the night before I go to bed. Hey friends. It's once a time. Once again time for bed and I didn't show you much of anything. I actually don't know if I can show you what I did. Huh? I'm I'm filming. I don't know if I showed you that one. This one is a new one. And this is the next one I need to do. And I think, I don't know if I ever showed these, I'm sorry. I think this one I finished today. And, oops, forward. If I hadn't shown you that one. And other than that, I did my Hanukkah girl. And the quinceanera girl. But I don't have very much back there for completed. All those other books need to be colored in. So I'm off to sleep for now. Off to dream time. But that friend is leaving in the morning. Otherwise, the rest of the table's filled in. And a different friend will be here Friday to sit there. So it's fun. And wait till you see the snack table. The snack table has gotten a little bit out of control. <laughs> Plus, there's backup snacks down there. Yep. This is how you roll when you craft with me. <laughs> it's Thursday morning. Do a check. What are we at? 10.02. This is my work in progress. Things are drying. It's kind of overcast, cloudy, humid. But it's time for breakfast. Jeez. Okay. I should check in. It's 5.32 on Thursday. I took a nap. It was really nice. And now look what I'm going to do. Can you tell who it is? I can, but I know. Got my swatches and my paint pen set up. Plus, this is what I use, I bought for the skin tones because there's just not enough. So everybody's gonna be a sun-kissed peach. At least this girl is gonna be. Oops, I gave it away, it's a girl. I'll try and remember to show you throughout the process. Okay, this is how far I am. Really, this is the page I need to do for a body color, but I like to do both pages when I'm working in my Disney books, if I can, because then I just think they look so cool when they're done. But guess what? She just rang the dinner bell. So I need to go see what we're having for dinner. Here's supper. Pork. This was on a cob mere hours ago. Coleslaw. It is late. Let me tell you. 139. This is how far I got. All I do, I do the black outlines last. I know a lot of people in these books do the black outline first, but I like to do it last because it just, for me, cleans up all the edges and I don't have to go back over and clean them up if I colored over them. Anyway, so black and then white. You can kind of see, I like to white out the lines and I might do some extra sparkle on these lovely girls, but I would have finished, except let me tell you what happened. So I'm thinking my last friend, the very pregnant friend I should add, was going to fill her ice and go to bed. And she's like, Kathy, something exploded in the fridge. So I'm like thinking, oh, and she's like, there's water dripping everywhere. And I'm like, okay, I'll clean it up. And then I went. And I had a full, I think, 64-ounce 
caribou growler of coffee. And it was at the back of the fridge, which I think was too cold, and it froze, and it was a glass bottle, and it exploded, and all 64 ounces of coffee dripped, because of course it was on the top shelf, all the way down, everything in the fridge, all the sides, everything in the doors, <laughs> it was all, and puddled it on the floor. Praise Jesus. My friend stayed and helped, or I'd still be there. It took us an hour. We took everything out. We had to clean off everything in the fridge. Not to mention the shelves, the sides, the floor. <laughs> we had to do it a couple times. And the glass. And it was a lot. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like. It might not look that bad in the picture. But it was, if you want to zoom in. Anyway, so my sisters didn't get finished coloring because I need to go to bed. Except right now I'm hot and sweaty from dealing with that fridge. But I'm just going to go to bed. And hopefully tomorrow is better. But tomorrow is already Friday, which means I only have Friday and Saturday as full days. And I have not colored nearly enough. I'm still working on buddy colors. Did I do anything? I think I've done one page. That was not a buddy color that I did just for fun. Oh, well, let me show you my other hot mess that I colored today. <laughs> oh, this page is buddy color, and you're thinking, oh, it's not that. It's super cute, Kathy, until I went to town with my glossy accents. So my page wasn't lying flat. Look at that. It was like this, and it dripped. That's how much glossy accents I put on. Even better. Check out, do you see, do you see the problem on this page? Is it glaring? Look at my flipping watermelon pop. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna put the glossy accents over the watermelon and then I'm gonna use my um, enamel <laughs> accents for the seeds. Well, I didn't wait for the glossy accents to dry. So FYI, they will blend together. So my almost, really cute giraffe just has some personality so I'll come up with a story for it <laughs> but I feel bad because it was a buddy color but I think my buddy's gonna laugh pretty hard okay seriously I gotta go to bed I am tired checking in Friday 123 I've been really bad at vlogging sorry but I got those girls finally finished. I added sparkle stickles to make the snow. Those pages I actually are done. I'm just going through adding glossy accents on the eyes. And this one is drying. And now I gotta go through my buddy color list and see if I am missing anything yet. Or if I can dive into some of the other books. I still have a bunch here I have not colored in. Let's see what we do. Checking in. I had a snack. 208. Can you see? We got friends. Gave them some cheese. Now they won't leave. I would like to bring them in. But they're outdoor farm cats. Got a little overcast. Anyway, I have already done. This is the book, my project book with my friend Tammy. So I've done three of our five pages. So now I'm going to do this page and this is my inspiration, which is actually my mom's finger and one of her butterflies. So let's see how I can make this into this. If I were like a really cool YouTuber, I would do the old, uh, good morning. It's Saturday. It's my last day in paradise. Well, not my last day. It's my last full day of crafty vacation. Tomorrow is the day I leave, so I'll either start packing up tonight or tomorrow when I just get up, I'll be packing up and loading and usually out of here by lunchtime. So, uh, some piece of hair stuck on my tongue. No idea how the vlog is turning out. <laughs> I tried to remember to pick up the phone. I had hoped to be able to set up my um, monopod to like do some, fil you could actually see me like do some speed coloring, but that doesn't work. 
it the one I brought is even bouncier than what I have at home and I already know that can't be bouncy so yeah that didn't happen so I'm trying to remember to pick it up and show you like when I start and finish things but we'll see how this all ends up if it's <laughs> anything fun to watch or not but I um, slept in a little bit, so it's about a little after 9 o'clock. So I need to get up to the craft room and see what's shaking. Because the friends are all here. The last girl arrived last night after our yummy meal. She actually got there just in time to enjoy it. And, whoa, sorry. Talk about wobbly. Now you're stuck with my arm. Um... So yeah, I ended up going to, I wasn't the last one to the to bed last night because I took a shower and just thought I'd rather go to bed a little early, which still it was after midnight then. Um, so tonight could be a late night. We shall see. But it's been amazing and relaxing. It's what I needed in my life. I have been posting some on Instagram stories, so I may, I don't know. I'm trying to save them, so I'll probably add all of them in because I've just been uploading pictures, like progress of the pages. So probably at the end when I'm doing a wrap up, which I don't need to tell you about now, I'll up upload those pages or photos. So, okay. Let's go upstairs and see. I almost finished a page last night I was doing in a Disney book. And I was using paint, so I was letting the paint dry. And now I need to go add some finishing touches. So let's go get that one done. <laughs> it's our last homemade breakfast. <laughs> Peach French toast. So much chatting, haven't been able to show you much, but it's summer time. What time is it? Oh, so hold on. It is 5.56. I colored that. And now I'm doing another Disney. I did finish some other stuff, but I'm going to try and, I'm just going to do this one in marker. I'm not doing the paint. Marker is a lot quicker. Granted, I get streaks, but it's okay. So yeah, but it's supper time. Let's go see what we're having. Yum. She turned the leftover fruit into fruit salad, the leftover pork roast into sandwiches, the leftover corn into jiffy corn pudding, and leftover coleslaw. So here's our excitement right now. We have a bit of rain happening, but look at the beautiful rainbow. And it's actually a double. Can you see both? It's so bright. Look at that. It's still raining though. But then it's sunny over there. <laughs> My friend, the photographer, <laughs> is braving the rain to try and get a good picture. And the kitties are looking for some pork. Because I had it in my pocket earlier. Anyway. <sighs> Need to get back and finish working. Well, the time is over. It is Sunday, the 28th, and I am packed and leaving. So sad. Following my friends because we're going to go have lunch. And then I'll go home and unpack. Okay, so we'll see how this vlog is. I will post it even if it's hodgepodgey whatever it's gonna be a hot mess because that's how I am again really difficult to film with a group of people and plus I'm like talking and laughing the whole time but I did manage I did a quick count I think I had 26 pages I colored this week which I'm pretty happy with I did a lot more detailed work for me I'm still pretty much a marker straight colorist but I played with some blending I did the color by numbers I did were my Disney ones which always take a little bit more because I use paint but I am very happy and I did not get all of my Hannah Lynn's that I wanted to do but I did a good chunk which makes me happy and I have some more buddy colors 
coming up. So if I push, I can hit that 25 pages for this year of Hannah Lynn. But I don't think I'm going to do that to myself again next year. And I don't know why, because it's so funny that when I color my Hannah Lynn pages, I don't know why they intimidate me. Because once I dive into them, they go fairly quickly. And it's more just like to pick the colors. And yeah, they're really fun to color. So I just need to get over the fact. And I always like my pictures when I'm done. So there's that. And we had a great time. The food. Hopefully I remember to showing up at the food. It was amazing. And yeah. And the best part is I don't have to work for the next two days. Okay, here's the really good part. It only took me one trip to bring my stuff out. Because guess what? I'm coming back here in three weeks and I left half of my stuff there. Can you believe it? Yes. So two of the ladies I was with, um, they have another group, a different, totally different people they come with always in September and they don't have enough people. They need more people. And I'm like, I looked at the calendar and I'm like, Oh, it's my short week. I'd only need to take two days off. And Hopefully I can at least get someone to cover or even if I had to drive back, I would still come Monday and then drive back for my two day shift and then come back for the weekend. It's not that big a deal. It's about a two hour drive, but really for me, it's not that big a deal. So yeah, the lady that um, runs the center said there's nobody coming in. She doesn't have any groups coming in. So if we wanted to just leave our stuff, we could. So all three of us left half of our stuff there. So I just had my suitcase and then I couldn't leave everything because I'm still going to be coloring in the next three weeks. And obviously I needed the books because I want to fill my end of the month pages, la la la, all of that we know, but really pretty awesome. So I'm excited whether that one will be blocked or not. I do not know, but depending on that group, maybe they're more head to bed earlier and I could like film at night. It'll be interesting to see. I, I hope they like me. And um, yeah, I like texted Eddie and I said, so these girls are coming back and they need people. It's my short week. What do you think? He's like, go for it. So of course that means he's going to want something <laughs> like to go spend money on. But anyway, um, yeah, if you see the food, that I'm going to be eating shortly, then you get to see that. Otherwise, if you don't, I'm sure I'll come back in for a final goodbye, but I should really focus on the row right now. Hey friends, I am here to finish off the vlog. It is the 29th. Can't see it because it's on my face. If I, that was a picture of my dad and I when I was in my 20s. It's one of my favorites and it's my lock screen. Anyway, you can see it's Monday. So I had lunch yesterday, came home, unloaded, and pretty much slept because it's exhausting crafting for a full week. And I think I said that I'm going to go back there in a couple weeks, so that will be exciting. But I figured I would do a show and tell of everything I colored because that was kind of my unofficial goal to see how much can I color in a week. So if I have my numbers right, I colored 24 pages. And that was very good for me. I was not going to, I wasn't trying to hit certain numbers. I basically was working on all my buddy colors. And then all, all of these are buddy colors and a couple just for fun that I wanted to do. So it is, I do still have time. I have today and, or I still have today. I have basically two and a half days left to color. So I don't know in the month of August. This will probably show up after my completed pages video just because now I'm going to color like crazy because there's still a few prompts I'm trying to finish for some color alongs. But this will be, I guess, a recap of my finished pages and you can see what I colored in a week. I may have not given you glimpses of all of them from the um, vlog footage, but regardless, here we go. This one I know I didn't show you because it was the one I started working on after I was partially packed up. This is in color by number Mosaics Dessert Lovers. Does it? It's from Rock. There we go. Rocket Publishing. And I just started with the first page. 
and did this super cute. Should I add some more light? Is this going to help or not? Um, sorry, I wasn't set up properly. Okay, we got two lights on. So I did this fun little popsicle. I totally changed my colors. It had like a bunch of grays, which I guess were supposed to be shadows. Anyway, that will be talked about in my completed pages. Kathy, be quiet. Just show the pages. I'm not going to tell you the stories now. You'll have to watch for those in the completed pages. So I had two buddy colors in Matchstick Mouse that I colored on... Okay, all of these, if I keep saying I colored it on my crafty vacation, obviously that's what all of these are. And so I did this page and this page. This is a super adorable book. I might have to do another page or two out of there for a prompt. Chibi Girls coloring book. I colored this page. Lots and lots of um, extras going on in there. Vacation miniatures, so excited to color. I think there's five. So this is the first time I colored in this book. Was this month. Or at vacation I did. A, um, this will have a story behind it. You'll have to wait. Ooh. Got the pineapple house. And there should be two more here at the end. <laughs> Since I was on vacation... <laughs> and didn't have kitty helpers, I used a lot more of embellishments, like my stickles, liquid pearls, glossy accents, than I normally would have done, because I don't have to worry about kitties jumping up on my lap. I did my five pages for the month out of my project book with Tammy Colors 2. Fun. All of these were fun and enjoyable. Then I did some in my large Disney books. I know I showed these. At least they were, I was showing them on my Instagram stories too. I haven't done a lot with Instagram stories, so I was kind of doing the whole uh, progress. If you saw those, let me know if you liked that. I certainly can do when I'm like working on a page since I frequently will just do sit down and complete a page. Uh, let me know what you thought. I think I... I might have shown some Instagram stories on a Hannah Lynn one too, but if people like that, I can do that. It's super easy to do. And these girls are gorgeous. I remember when I got this book, those were the two, two of the pages I really wanted to do, but I wanted to wait until I kind of had a clue what I was doing in these books. And in Girl Power, I have two pages. Here was my mini. And my, is it Raya? I say the name wrong all the time, but got those two. And then two more books, which were both Hannah Lynn's. These are um, Spiral on the Top because I have the uh, artist edition. So I'm going to just keep the book this direction. And there's three in this book I finished. Did Quinceanera. De los Mortos, and I did the Hanukkah page. And the last book was Enchant at Halloween. I did two pages. Did this girl, and what's the other one? Oh, clips it at the end. And a body over you. So. I said most of these were buddy colors, so that was awesome that I could do all my buddy colors while I was there. Let's see, should I give you something to look at while I chat until I start showing some pictures? We'll show my uh, ghost ship page. Whoa, totally hit you in the in the in the camera there. Uh, yeah, so vacation was absolutely fabulous. As any vacation, it went far too quickly. It was so nice to reconnect with good friends and laugh a lot and enjoy wonderful food. Yeah, I was just like, I'm so tickled that it works out that I can go back on Crafty Vacation. I thought it was three weeks. It's actually in two weeks. So I'm filming this on a Monday and two weeks from now. I will be back where I was at. Um, we'll see. No idea yet if I'm going to try and do any filming there or do another little vlog, coloring vlog, but who knows by then. Um, 
So I'm going to be inserting a few snapshot pictures that I have from the um, the week. First of all, the, the llama, I think I had mentioned, had passed away. So I did not get any llama pictures, but the kitties were there. And um, only one of them is tame enough to let us pet. But they would like sit outside our craft room door and just wait. And sooner or later, myself or my friend Kim would bring them food. And they were so happy. They looked so skinny. So that was fun to see those. There were sheep. One of my friends that was there um, is a amateur. Well, she's not an amateur. She's a hobby. I don't know what you call it. She's a photographer. It's not her full-time gig, but she is a full-fledged photographer. And she took some beautiful scenery shots as well as some of the sheep. We had one snippet. It wasn't even a real storm. It was a bit of rain. I think we saw one flash of lightning, no thunder, but there was this beautiful, beautiful rainbow. And of course, Kim captured it much better than I did. I think I tried to vlog it, but um, you're seeing the photos. And then, yeah, just some little bit of chaotic snapshots of what was going on. And yeah. It was fabulous, fabulous, fabulous vacation. I strongly encourage any of you who like to color. I was the only one coloring. These were all just crafty friends. They were, some were scrapbooking. Some were, the majority of them were making cards, greeting cards. Another was, well, the photographer was either editing photos or she was working on some projects for the church because she's the um, religious education coordinator and was working on some projects for that that were crafty related so yeah if you have crafty friends of any sort you don't all have to be colorists try and organize even if it's just a day see what you can find there may not be retreat centers around your area or there may you just have to look there may be meeting rooms though see if your library has a meeting room you could book and just come for the day um yeah, I don't know. I've had a few people ask me about coordinating this type of an event and it's really to find the places. And if you don't, can't think of people, you know, I've suggested if you have like a Michael's or Joann's, any of those craft type stores, ask if they teach classes. And even if it's not the type of craft that is your go-to, it, you will meet like-minded crafty people so it's a good place to start ask those places if they do retreats or if they're familiar with retreat centers there's a so a couple the one i've gone to before here because the way they're set up they make you book the whole house which can be tricky to find people sometimes they will get cancellations and if you are okay with going and realizing you may not know anybody uh put your name on their wait list because again make new friends, find a hobby. You, you kind of have to put yourself out there a little bit if you don't have a built-in group, which is how I've made this group. When I moved to my current um, town, I did not know anybody but my husband and his family. And um, the things I just suggested are what I did. I watched and they had, was like a craft retreat, a scrapbook retreat. Scrapbook and quilting seem to be popular in my area. And I signed up for a scrapbook retreat and I worked on cards. Nobody cared, but that is where I've met some of the people that have become near and dear friends that I craft with regularly now. So it's tough. A lot of us, including myself, are a bit introverted, have anxiety um, type issues. So putting ourselves out there is not at all easy. But to me, putting myself out there in a crafty environment felt safe. And it was. so. And now I get to do these fabulous retreats with friends that I did not have at all when I first um, moved to this area. So... Those are some of my suggestions. I do hope you enjoyed this again till I do the editing. I don't know how random it's going to be. I know it's random, but I had fun and I may or may not. Again, let me know if you want me to try and do another one of these in two weeks. I will. My friends are all like, Kathy, why do you have two phones? <laughs> and it's like, I go ones for the vlogging um, just because it's so much easier when uh, if you make YouTube videos, you understand 
If not, it's that when you're vlogging, it's not like you just sit down and film a whole thing. You like our stop, start, stop, start. So you end up with like a hundred different little clips you have to edit together. And I don't mind doing that. And because I don't do extreme editing, it's really not that difficult. It is a bit time consuming, but I have like my old phone. I filmed all the vlog footage on because I don't, didn't use that for anything else where my current phone, obviously I'm doing, I'm saving and I'm taking pictures and doing things on there. Anyway, again, probably only makes sense if you make videos, you know what I mean? So I can certainly bring my vlogging <laughs> phone if you would like. So, okay, friends, I'm going to let you go because I have a bunch of coloring yet to finish for the month of August. Thank you again for coming along on the ride as I went on crafty retreat and I hope you have a moment to escape with your favorite hobby, just to reset your spirit and mind and heart. And if you are struggling right now, hang in there. You're not alone. We've all been there. Some of us are there with you right now. And it gets better. You know, that's, for me, that's why I have the hobby. Even if I didn't have the chance to go with my friends for that part of the emotional up hug, I guess. I even actually got some hugs since I've been in need of hugs. I got some. And um, we can't always do that. But for me, coloring, I can escape and ease that stress quite a bit. So thank you, friends. Remember, please remember. And if you have never heard it and not heard it recently, you matter. You are beautiful. You make a difference in the world. And even though the world sometimes tries to beat us down and tell us we don't, it's wrong. At the core of it, you matter and you do make a positive difference. You do in my life. And that's one thing I'm not is a liar. I will tell you the truth. Love you, friends. Bye.